the vast majority of corn and soybeans and cotton and canola and sugar beets and papaya grown in the U.S. are genetically engineered. All of these foods have been assessed by the Food and Drug Administration in a voluntary consultation process, and FDA has found no significant differences between them and their traditionally bred counterparts. Over the last 20 years, FDA has reviewed data and information on more than 150 plant-derived GE foods. These range from herbicide-tolerant soybeans to canola oil with a modified fatty acid profile. Based on our evaluations, we are confident that the GE foods in the U.S. marketplace today are as safe as their conventionally bred counterparts. Are there any material differences between genetically engineered ingredients and those derived from traditionally bred crops? We have, we have found uh, that there have not been such differences. According to FDA Commissioner Margaret Hamburg, FDA has, quote, not seen evidence of safety risk associated with genetically modified foods, end quote. Further, FDA has no basis for concluding that bioengineered foods are different from other foods in any meaningful way, and the World Health Organization has stated that, quote, no effects on human health have been shown as a result of consumption of such foods, end quote. There is clear consensus amongst all of the leading scientific uh, organizations throughout the world and um, the meta-analysis of over 1,700 studies, about a third of which are done by the public sector that do not have any industry funding somewhere in that vicinity, have all come to the same conclusion that there are no unique risks posed by the use of this particular um, breeding method in the production of genetically engineered crops. GE foods in the U.S. marketplace today are safe as their conventional counterparts. We'll start on my left, your right, and tell me if you agree, yes or no, with that statement. Yes. I believe so. That's yes. A yes. For the record, just yes. 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 I'm just convinced that GE plants are as safe as any other foods. And I'm concerned that mandatory GE labeling could be inherently misleading. Mandatory labeling could lead consumers to believe that if the government is requiring a GE label, it must mean that GE foods are riskier or somehow fundamentally different from non-GE foods and to date, scientists have concluded that they are not. I agree that if the GE designation had to look like a warning, it would be misleading. The patchwork of 50 separate state labeling schemes would be impractical and unworkable. Such a system would create confusion among consumers and result in higher prices and fewer options. Mandatory GMO labeling at the state level would impact nearly every aspect of my members' business, upping costs by requiring increased product product inventory, added complexity for packaging and distribution processes, and extensive new regulatory and training requirements. I'm troubled by the net effect of the inconsistent state standards. America's agricultural production and food distribution chains necessarily cross state lines, and conflicting regulations could cause difficulties resulting in higher costs for consumers. The new infrastructure requirements are as daunting as they are costly, and you can bet that all of those costs will be passed on to the consumer, with studies showing that the average cost topping $500 a year. This is uh, a bill that is needed to make sure that uh, folks all across America can afford food. Uh, we in America have known for a long time that absent innovation and technology, uh, the food prices will rise dramatically. Ultimately, a patchwork of state GMO laws will hit consumers the hardest and would result in either increased costs of the grocery store or less availability of products in their stores. I think we're finding ourselves in, in general agreement uh, that a good federal standard for GE labeling is preferable to a confusing patchwork of state labeling uh, rules, which appears that we have today. A national labeling standard makes the most sense for our highly integrated and interdependent food supply. And we're talking about this consumer right to know. I find it interesting. This is on issue. Everyone's acknowledged there's no, there's no health or safety risk here. I, I, I find this kind of a, it's the old cliche, a, a, a solution in search of a problem.